Freeze Frame, Annotation and Zoom and Pan Tools are useful features that help you create more instructional how-to tutorials. By adding these effects, your videos will be much easier to follow. It helps you viewer concentrate on what's the next step they have to do without being distracted by your moving around mouse cursor. In today tutorial, I will show you how to do that in Active Presenter. Let's getting started now. Let's take a look at this short tutorial without using these features. Though I made this tutorial without any voiceover since the steps are very simple. However, without using freeze frame and annotations, it becomes very difficult to follow. Users don't know where to start and what to click. Let's make it easier to understand now. This is the recording that I brought to the timeline. I will preview it, and stop where I want to add freeze frame, annotation or zoom and pan effect. Opening the program is quite simple. We don't need to explain anything here. Now we have a mouse click action. It's necessary to show the viewer where to start. We need these features now. Normally, I will stop the tutorial one second before the mouse click, add freeze frame and annotation. By doing this, you don't need to move the marker around to find the point you need to add effect. Click this icon to insert freeze frame. Go to Annotation tab to add zoom and pan and annotation. Remember to keep the marker at the same position so you don't need to adjust any further. In Active Presenter, you can move around the zoom area as well as adjust the size of the zoom in. The shapes like arrows, texts and other icon are in the same annotation tab. Once these annotations are added, you can customize it on the right hand property pane. Here you can change the background of the shape, change font size, color, add shadow and many things more. Doing the same things will help you get a great instructional tutorial for sure. With Active Presenter, the shapes, videos and images are considered as subjects which means you can also add animation effect to them. I will make a new tutorial on how to add animation effects in Active Presenter soon. So, remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more tutorials about using Active Presenter. If you have not installed Active Presenter on your computer yet, just get the download link in the description. Active Presenter is one of the most powerful e-learning authoring tool I've used. Surprisingly, all the features I mentioned in this tutorial are completely free to use without any restriction. All the videos on this channel are created by Active Presenter. Of course, there are some other tools too. Now we can export the video to see how it looks after adding these effects. Go to Export tab and click on Video Format. In Export pop-up window, remember to check the box Zoom and Pan, Export Audio before you go. Choose Video Format you want. If you are going to upload on YouTube, choose MP4 or AVI. Finally, hit OK to start rendering your video. Let's view the final output to see how different it is. As you can see, 
All the effects work great and the tutorial looks more instructional now. This is exactly how I create my daily tutorial videos with Active Presenter. If you have any question about this program, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. That's the end of my video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.